Fairbanks Ice Dogs are back from Wenatchee set for a five-game homestand that begins this weekend with a two-game set against the Dawson Creek Rage. Now when the Dogs take the ice Friday night, it will be the first time this season they've faced the Rage. Fairbanks has never lost to the second-year NAHL program from British Columbia, Canada. The Ice Dogs boast this week's combat hockey third star of the league in Gabe Levin, who tallied five points in a two-game sweep of the Wenatchee Wild last weekend. He had two goals, including this beauty in the second game where he just walks the entire Wild D zone before going top shelf for the final goal of the series. Levy says sometimes he just gets in the zone. Yeah, I mean, it sort of just happened. You know, like I got around the first couple of guys, and then after that, you sort of just instinct tanks over, and you're just sort of like, you're just sort of going and, you know, it just sort of, it worked out well for me. It ended up with a, you know, a pretty nice goal. That was Levy's eighth marker of the season, but he also tallied three assists in the Wenatchee series. His 25 helpers not only leads the Ice Dog, but the entire North American Hockey League. I'm not consider myself a playmaker. Um, I mean, I have, you know, some goal scoring ability, but, you know, uh, passing sort of my, my specialty, so. And if you could say, you know, the most important thing to me as a player would definitely be making the guys around me better. So, um, you know, when I'm doing that, I consider myself to be playing well. The Dogs have been an explosive team offensively. Their power play ranked third in the league at 22.4%. However, during this current three-game winning streak, it's been strong play in the D zone making the difference. During this three-game stretch, the Dogs have seen shutouts from both goalies and Alex Fons and Steve Perry and have only given up one goal, that coming in a lopsided 4-1 win over the Wild last Friday. Playing man-on-man -man down low and moving the puck up to the wing good, making a good first pass, and then, you know, keeping our gaps tight. The D zone is all about work ethic and everybody knows our system. It's just about whether or not guys want to buy in. And uh, these last three games, we've definitely seen guys uh, you know, willing to sacrifice the body, willing to battle in front of the net. And um, you know, it's paid off.